morning my brother my sister i want to welcome you all to another glorious time before the king of king the lord of lord the ancient of days i want to bless god for your life and has given you the grace to be part of this prayer as you connect with us this morning god bless you my sister god bless you my brother and i know the lord will continually strengthen you as you continue in this fasting and prayer period i know the lord will be your strength it will be your shield in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god bless you and i pray that all that you are asking God for, all that you are trusting God for, the Lord will answer to all your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, my brother, you will testify. My sister, you will testify. I want us to give God all the praise. I say this morning, let us thank Jehovah. Let us thank the King of glory. Today is day 37 of our fasting and prayer. I want us to give God all the praise and adoration. David says, enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise and be thankful to him and bless his name so my sister my brother i want you to bless god i want you to celebrate the father i want you to give god all the honor and all the adoration i want you to thank you over for all that the lord has done for you i say since the beginning of this year somebody celebrate god let us thank god for another beautiful day that we are in the presence of god i want us to celebrate god somebody thank god the bible says to the end that my glory may sing praise unto thee and not be silent oh lord my god i will give thanks unto thee psalm 30 verse 12 i say my sister I say, my brother, as you connect this morning, I want you to celebrate Jehovah. Give God all the praise for the mercies of God in your life, the goodness of God, the love of the Father. I want us to thank the ancient of this. Bless God for who the Lord is to you and your family. My sister, my brother, celebrate the father somebody give god the praise let us thank god for the provision the support of god to our life let us thank god for the goodness of god the mercies of god the bible said they are new every morning great is your faithfulness my sister my brother i want you to thank god for the faithfulness of god over your family over your children over your household the bible say offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vow unto the most high psalm 50 verse 14 i say somebody celebrate god celebrate Pray Jehovah. They will say, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Psalm 69, verse 30. I say, Praise God somebody celebrate the father let us give god the praise and let us sing unto jehovah the king of king the lord of lord god that never failed for his mercy over your life over your family somebody celebrate the father i say thank god this morning that you have seen another day let us give jehovah all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration let us praise the king of glory let us praise the ancient of this our father let us give him all the glory and all the honor i say this this morning my sister my brother if i were you i will celebrate the father i will give god all the praise i will give him all the adoration i will celebrate the ancient of this for his mercy and for his love over your life and your family somebody thank god let us bless the name of the Father. Let us give God all the praise. I want us to plead the blood over your spirit, over your soul this morning. As we connect in this prayer, I say somebody plead the blood. The Bible speaks in Leviticus 17, 11. The Bible says, I will bless for the life of the flesh is in the blood. The Bible says, I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your soul. The Bible says, for it is the blood that make atonement by the life. My sister, my brother, I want you to bless God and begin to clap purify yourself purify your soul i say somebody begin to purify yourself purify your soul this morning i say saturate the heaven above you in the blood of jesus as you come before the lord that any defilement that may have contaminated your spirit your soul i say over the night maybe your dream somebody sprinkle the blood i say pray any pollution any corruption of the enemy any contamination i say anything that the enemy may have used i say to contaminate to mess up your spirit to stain your spirit I say any fieldiness that may have come as a result of attack of the enemy begin to plead the blood over your spirit over your soul I say my sister I say my brother plead the blood this morning somebody plead the blood over your spirit I say whatever has defied your soul 
defy your spirit over the night i say somebody plead the blood that father i saturate the atmosphere i cover myself in the blood of jesus i say my sister please cover yourself my brother cover yourself somebody plead the blood i say saturate the heaven above you somebody plead the blood i say purify your spirit purify your soul i say today some of us who have had some nightmare over the night i want you to bleed the blood i say whatever you have gone through i say lord that father every pollution dream pollution father i cleanse myself in the blood i say today i am justified by the blood of jesus i am sanctified by the blood i am cleansed by the blood i say my sister i say cleanse yourself your spirit your soul your children i say cleanse yourself in the blood i say purify yourself by the blood i say somebody play the blood over your spirit over your soul the bible say indeed under the law almost everything is purified by the blood the bible says, without the shedding of the blood there is no forgiveness of sin hebrews chapter 9 22 i say my brother my sister if i were you i will play the blood over my spirit i say sanctify all that concerns you this morning sanctify by the blood by the blood by the blood the blood of jesus as you go today i say my sister i say my brother play the blood over your spirit over your soul sanctify all that concerns you in the name of jesus lay them power i say somebody play the blood i say my brother play the blood i say my sister play the blood as you go this morning cover your workplace Cover your business premises in the blood and say sanctify everything that concern you by the blood of Jesus. As we go today, I say play the blood, play the blood, my sister, play the blood, my brother, in the name of Jesus. I say cover yourself, saturate the heaven above you in the blood of Jesus. As we go today, cover all that concerns you. Cover your job interview, cover your application, cover your womb in the blood. I say, my sister, play the blood, my brother, play the blood. I say, play the blood over your spirit. Over your soul in the name of Jesus as we go today I want us to pray that father empower me empower me oh Lord empower me oh Lord the Bible is speaking at 10 38 how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost empower I say somebody I want you to pray that father empower me empower me oh Lord empower me oh Lord father fill me with the Holy Ghost empower my brother my sister I want you to pray I say pray this morning that father empower you empower Power you pray that father empower me lord fill me with the holy ghost and with power i say my brother my sister i want you to pray you need to be empowered you need to be fortified that as you go this morning pray that father fill me with the holy ghost and with power as i go this morning my lord my god empower me i say my father please empower me oh lord empower me as i go this morning fill me with the holy ghost i say build a wall of fire around about me and my family about my job up, about my finances about my career about my business father i pray that this morning father empower me empower me oh lord empower me oh lord fill me with the holy ghost empower holy ghost empower i prophesy and I decree over somebody that as you go this morning, may you be empowered. I say, my brother, be empowered. I say, my sister, be empowered. Be empowered. As you go this morning, be empowered. I say, receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Be empowered. As you go this morning, I say, my sister, I say, my brother, be empowered. I say, right now, may the Lord empower you. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Empower. 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 As you go today i pray and i join my faith with your faith i say according to the word of god the bible say no weapon that is formed against thee they shall prosper you say against thee shall prosper the bible say every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn the bible say this is the heritage of the servant of the lord and the righteousness is of me say the lord i say my sister i pray the lord will, the lord will protect you the lord will keep you my brother i say you shall be kept in the mighty name of God, I say today, the Lord will protect you. No weapon of the enemy from the fashion against you, they will not prosper against your family, against your children. I pray for you. The Bible said, Their sword shall enter into their heart, and their bow shall be broken. Psalm 37, verse 15 and 16. As you go this morning, I say, You are empowered. You are empowered. You are empowered. The Lord protect you. The Lord protect you. The Lord protect you. The Bible said, But the Lord is with me. 
as a mighty terrible one. Therefore, my persecutor shall stumble, they shall not prevail, they shall be greatly ashamed, for they, sh they shall not prosper. The Bible said their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Jeremiah 20, verse 11. I say, My sister, so shall it be. I say, For your enemy, so shall it be. I say, For your enemy. The Bible say it disappoint the devices of the crafting so that their hand cannot perform the enterprise. I say today, the enemy will not be able to carry out. I say their plan over your life, over your family. As you go, my sister, as you go, my brother. I say this morning, the Lord will keep you, the Lord will protect you. I pray today, a nice decree and declare. I say every strength, every strength, demonic weapon against you, they shall backfire. I say back to sender, back to sender, back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every negative prayer, they shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Every evil recitation against your soul, against your destiny, I say shall backfire. I say today, they shall be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say my sister, any incantation against your destiny, against your life, any astral projection against you, they are terminated. As you go this morning, I pray for you. And I say my sister, any negative statement, I say against your glory, against your testimony, I say my brother, they are cancelled by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say today, any sham that anyone want to use against your life, I say any sacrifice of evil against your destiny, I say this morning, they are terminated. Evil summon against you, I pray today, any negative propaganda in your workplace, in your family, they are terminated. They are terminated. They are terminated by the mercy of God. Every affliction of any kind, I pray today, they are nullified as you go. Every weapon of delay, weapon of frustration, they shall backfire by the mercy of God. Every weapon of lack of finance against your life, they are terminated as you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I said today, every weapon of disappointment, that the enemy want to fire against your life, they are terminated. I prophesy and I decree. I say any weapon of darkness against you, against your future, against your family, against your work, against your business, from evil coven, coven of the wishes and the wizard, from your place of birth, from your land of nativity, I say from your environment, from your neighbor, I say today, they are terminated. As you go, my sister, as you go, my brother, anything the enemy is holding against you, I say today, by the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost, the Bible say, our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. I say, the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say, destroy them. I pray today, and I pray today, I say, power that want to paralyze your well being, they are terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you go this day, this morning is a beginning of another day. Any power that want to enjoy your destiny, I say, today they are terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any power that want to prevent your breakthrough, I say today and this week, they are nullified. They are terminated by the power of the Holy Ghost. I say this morning, any power that want to sponsor, I say shame against you, they are terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any power that want to arrest your progress, I say this morning, I prophesy and I decree they are terminated. I say today they are terminated. Any power that want to arrest your progress, I say in your life, they are terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any power that want to mess up your glory, they are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any power that want to silence your glory, I say my brother, I say my sister, as you go out this morning, they are terminated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I pray today, any power that want to afflict your your spiritual life afflicts i say your life your marriage your career i say today they are terminated any power causing pain causing agony in your life any power that want to cause you sorrow or tragedy in your family in your relationship they are terminated by the fire of the holy ghost i say power that want to scatter what you have achieved in life they are terminated by the fire of the holy ghost i say my brother any power that want to prevent your achievement your progress i say this this morning they are destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say, my brother, I say, my sister, I prophesy and I decree that as you go this morning, the hand of God is upon you. The Bible says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of love is sure, making the wise simple. I say, my sister, I say, my brother, the Bible says, The status of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eye. I say, my sister, according to the word of God, in some 19 
I say today, as you go, as you go this morning, I say may you enjoy the fruit of your labor. The Bible says, give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Psalm 60 verse 11. I say may the help of God, may you come for you. As you go, my brother, as you go, my sister, may you see help, may you see help, may you see help. The Bible says, in Psalm 31, the Bible says, For I have heard the slander of many, that the fear was up on every side. The Bible says, When they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. The Bible speaks in verse 14. The Bible says, But I trusted in thee, O Lord. And I said, Thou art my God. Thou art my God. In verse 15, the Bible says, Many times are in my times are in your in, in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemy and from those that persecute me. I say, My sister, I say my brother the bible speak in verse 16 the bible say make thy face to shine upon thy servant and save me i say for thy mercy i say make the mercy of god may he prevail may he save you as you go this morning my sister my brother as you pray i say day 37 our prayer point our prayer focus we are praying for mercy of god i say for divine healing of our land of your country from covid 19 i say issues and other related global health issues that is our prayer focus and we are praying this morning I say we are praying and we are declaring that Father, as we ask Lord for forgiveness of our sin, that Father heal our land according to your word in Isaiah 33 verse 24. That Father heal our land. Somebody pray that prayer. That Father, please heal our land. I say heal our land. We ask Father for the forgiveness of our sin in our land. That Father have mercy, forgive us, O Lord. Heal our land. Prayer point number three. We are praying that Father, Father, by your mercy, hear our cry and eat all who are sick in our nation. My sister, I say people that are sick in your nation, the country where you reside, according to Psalm 30 verse 2 and Zechariah chapter 10 verse 6, somebody pray that Father have mercy in as many that are sick in our land, in our nation. Father, I want to pray. I say my sister, make a decree. My brother, pray as many that are sick right now because of COVID-19. That Father, please, I say Lord, heal them. Heal as many in our hospitals is a many that are admitted in the hospital as many on ventilator that father please heal them oh lord heal them oh lord heal them oh lord as a prayer point we are praying prayer point number four that father by your mercy deliver our nation deliver our nation from the attack of this noisome president called coronavirus i say father deliver according to your word in psalm 91 verse 3 father deliver deliver our nation somebody pray somebody pray that father from the attack of COVID-19 virus I say father I say heal our land heal the atmosphere I say cleanse the atmosphere I say void of coronavirus in the name of prayer point number five we are praying and we are declaring that father forgive our iniquity and heal our disease according to your word in Psalm 103 verse 3 that father I say Lord forgive oh Lord in this nation father forgive every iniquity every iniquity father have mercy have mercy oh lord heal us lord from all disease in the name of Jesus heal the land heal the land somebody pray i say pray for your nation pray for your nation pray for the nation where you are residing pray my brother pray my sister prayer point number six we are praying that father by your mercy let your healing power in the stripe of our lord jesus nailed i say lord coronavirus to the cross of God in the name of Jesus I say somebody pray according to the word of God in first Peter 2 24 that father this morning Lord we make a decree that father by your stripe by your stripe oh Lord by your stripe Jehovah by your stripe the king of king I say Lord let the coronavirus disease be nailed to your cross in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let it be terminated let it be terminated prayer point number seven we are praying that father by your mercy let coronavirus and all that disease not have dominion over our your creation in the name of Jesus. let us pray i say somebody pray let us make a decree that coronavirus it will not have a domin dominion over us in our land in the name of Jesus. and globally the father who have victory in the name of Jesus. we receive victory by the mercy of god we receive victory prayer point number eight we are praying almighty god have mercy on us destroy coronavirus and its source from the face of the earth 
according to your word in Jeremiah 51 verse 25. Father, we pray and we make a bold decree that this morning, Father, according to your mercy, destroy as a coronavirus. Father, by your mercy, let it be terminated. Let it be destroyed as a completely by the power in the blood of Jesus. Prayer point number nine. We are praying that, oh Lord, my God, as we cry unto thee, please hear us. Heal our land of COVID-19. Heal our land of all other related health issues. I say, Father, Lord, heal our land according to your word in Second Chronicle 7 14. Father, we make a decree and we say, Lord, let our land be healed of COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, I say, Father, by your mercy, by your grace, oh Lord, in our land. I say somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray for your country. Pray for your country. Pray for the nations of the world. Pray for the nation of the world. I say globally that Father, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Prayer point number 10. We are praying that Jesus, son of David, have mercy on our nation and take this plague away. I say completely. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word in Mark 10, 47, 48. Father, we pray that thou son of david father have mercy have mercy have mercy every plague every plague of covid 19 let it be completely removed wiped out of our nation globally in the name of jesus prayer point number 11 we are praying i say my brother i say my sister we make a decree that oh lord my god you have made the heaven and the earth there is nothing too hard for you have mercy on us and in our churches in our nation and everyone in our family i say today somebody pray anyone infected by coronavirus the father according to your word in zachariah 10 6 the father let there be healing we command healing i say this one we command your healing hand we command your healing virtue we call on i say your healing oil or put f as many that are sick right now i say father we command your healing somebody pray somebody pray i say somebody pray let us make a decree that father let your healing power begin to flow in their life prayer point number 12 we are praying that father oh lord god almighty have mercy on us send forth your word and deliver us from destruction in the mighty name of jesus according to your word in psalm 107 verse 20 my brother my sister pray somebody pray that father send your word send your word your healing word i said deliver us i said from every destruction of covid 19 father deliver our family deliver our city deliver our nation the nations of the world father deliver by your mercy by your mercy by your mercy oh lord deliver deliver oh lord prayer point number 13 we are praying that father by your mercy let every gate that coronavirus has shot against us be lifted up now in the name of jesus according to your word in psalm 24 verse 7 to 10 father we decree and declare that every gate every gate of sickness the gate of affliction the gate of disease that coronavirus has brought father let them be lifted be lifted be lifted be lifted in the name of Jesus. father let them be terminated let coronavirus be destroyed in our atmosphere let it be destroyed i say completely by your power by your power by your power by your power prayer point number 14 we are praying beloved we are praying we are interceding for the nations of the world we are interceding for our nation somebody pray somebody pray i say pray we are praying that father have mercy on us restore our family restore our churches restore our nation all that disease and sickness have stolen away the father lord restore somebody pray for restoration i say my sister my brother out there pray for restoration that as we go this morning as we intercede on behalf of our church on behalf of our nation hey my brother on behalf of your family intercede somebody the father whatever the sickness has stolen away father let there be restoration i say lord father restore Restore the economy of our nation. Restore as a business that have been stranded. Father, restore. Father, restore. Let there be restoration. Restoration. Restoration in our life, in our family, in our churches, in our nation. Father, all over the world, let there be restoration. Somebody pray for restoration. I say, my brother, pray for restoration. My sister, pray for restoration. As you go this morning, prayer point number 15. Oh God, 
have mercy. Oh Lord, forgive us. Send us good health and peace in our nation, in our family, in this nation. I say, Father, in our churches, send your peace, send good health, oh Lord. Father, we need your good health. Father, Lord, restore according to your word in Jeremiah 3 verse 6. Father, send, oh Lord, send your peace. Let your peace reign. Let it reign. Let it reign. I say, Lord, over coronavirus, let it reign. Your peace in our city. Your peace in our nation. Your peace. I say, Father, let it reign in our family, in our body. Your peace, oh Lord, in our hospital. The peace of God. The peace of God. The peace of God. Father, that this pandemic, Father, put an end and terminate it, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Ancient of this, we say thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the praise and all the adoration. Father, we thank you because we know you have heard us. As we go this morning, we go in your power. We go in your mercy. We know that the door of unlimited mercy has opened for us in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise and all the adoration. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. As we connect this morning to this awesome time before the king of glory the lord of lord and i know as you go this morning the lord will be a shield around about you and your family and your and your household in the name of jesus i pray that the lord will keep you and your family from this plague of covid 19 in the name of jesus it will not come near your dwelling it will not come near your family and as many that are sick from this disease we pray the lord will heal them completely in the name of jesus i say father we heal them completely in the name of jesus god bless you for this morning prayer and as you go my sister if this prayer has blessed you i want you to please like thumbs you up click the button before you leave and if today paraventure is your first time of connecting with morning prayer encounter i want you to please subscribe to our channel and i know your prayer life will never remain the same i want to remind all my single sisters and brother that this friday i want you to join us in the single breakthrough prayer meeting it's going to be three hours solely prayer in holy ghost somebody come and join us there are powerful testimony last year and this year already i said the last month has but has birthed a lot of testimony so my sister my brother i say whether you are praying for your own husband or your own wife please join us on friday this friday is going to be 12 midnight at uk time i don't know what time it will be in your country but my sister please save the date if you know of anyone in your family member anyone amongst your family member anyone amongst your friends that are trusting god for a godly husband godly wife that were praying for breakthrough please channel them Tell, tell them to come to this prayer meeting and they shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. And I know you will, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Because this year, maritally, the Lord will say to you, my sister, the Lord will say to you, you will connect to your own husband. I say, my brother, the Lord will say to you in the name of Jesus. And you will testify to the glory of God as others are testifying in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day to the glory of the Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Shalom, Pastor Rufus. God bless you. You have been at what people say. Jehovah, bigger than what people say. You are so good. You are so kind. You are bigger than what people say. You are so good. You are so kind. You are bigger than what people say. So